Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jangan ada pull out the participant. So, I'm uh, the all year all the presented by capital structure analysis in increasing profitability in Suzuki branch in Indonesia. Here, proper formulation and research objective. So, uh, based on the background, the formulation of the problem raised by researcher in how the capital structure in increasing profitability at in Suzuki branch in Indonesia. So, so here, based on the main issue above, the purpose of this research is to find out and analysis how the capital structure increasing profitability in Suzuki branch in Indonesia. So, uh, for analyzing the company capital structure, at first we need to know what is the deep to a quality ratio. And then what we find for the table about the depth of quality ratio in Suzuki branch in Indonesia, as you can see by the financial reporting in Suzuki branch in Indonesia, uh, it's so how much the ease of tap in the completion of capital structure used by in Suzuki branch in Indonesia in 2017 to 2018. Uh, decrease it from hundred hundred one point forty four percent to eighty nine point zero seven percent, while in nineteen it increased to ninety seven point sixty three percent. And again, this grace because of pandemic, as you can see, when 2020 to 90 point to 28 percent and increase in 21 again by 106 point 89 percent. Yeah. And the second tape to assets ratio. From the table by reporting statement, it can be seen how much debt as a capital structure in financial asset earned by Suzuki branch in Indonesia in 2017 to 2018 decreased from 50.86% to 47.11% in 2000. 18 to 19 it increased for 40 percent for 40.11 percent to 49 40 percent and in 2019 to 2020 it decreased from 40 point for 49 point 40 Person to forty seven point forty five percent. Meanwhile, in two thousand twenty to two thousand twenty one, the debt to asset ratio has increased from forty seven point forty five to fifty five fifty one to point sixty seven percent. Analysis company profitability ratio for return of equity. It can be seen as the Suzuki branch in Indonesia in 2017 amounted to 15.02% and to 2018 amounted to 9.63% and also uh, 8 to 8.27% and to 2020 amounted to 10.92% and to 2021 amounted to 7.64%. This means that the highest ROI was obtained in 2017, which was 15.02% and the lowest ROI was obtained in 21, which was 7.64%. So for the return of asset, it can be said that, that in Suzuki branch in Indonesia in 2017 amounted 7.45% and to 2020 amounted to 
And in 18, 2018, amounted to 5.09%. And in 2019, amounted to 4.19%. Uh, and in 2020, amounted to 5.74%. And in 2021, amounted to 3.69%. This means that the highest rule return of asset was obtained in 2017 which was 4.45 percent and the lowest return of asset was obtained in 21 and it can be concluded that the capital structure on it but in the branch in indonesia is still not able to increase its ability to generate profits Corporate debt, which should be used in investment to increase profit, but most of it is used to finance losses increased by its subsidiaries. The use of this debt raised fixes costs in the form of interest expense that must be borne by the company. The interest expense can reduce the need profit to be received because of the benefit delivered by using that are smaller than the cost encourage because for the comparison between capital structure which are not much different in this case there are several causes that make the amount between the value of debt and equality not too far away including the lack of equality value in funding in business its business so that the company must increase the value of the debt so that the company funding continues Beside that there is a possibility that the company want to reduce the tax burden, the tax burden so that by using that as company funding. For vitability analysis in society branch in Indonesia, ex excessive use that in company capital structure also cast the decrease in resulting profitability because the use of that will cause fix, fixed costs. In the form of interest expense that must be borne by the company, the interest expense can reduce the net profit to be received because of benefit delivered by from using that are smaller than the cost incurred, causing profitability to tend the, to decrease. So for the conclusion, Based on the result of the analysis and discussion in this study, it can be concluded that the capital structure is still unable to increase profitability at the Suzuki branch in Indonesia, which can be seen from the unstable capital structure, causes profit to tend to decrease. This due the, to a decrease in unit selling price of Suzuki, Suzuki official and losses to several company sub dealers. The reason that the total value of tap and equality does not differ much is that the company lack if it uses internal fine to finance its business operation so that the issues internal fine to to increase fine which result in a large amount of time thank you very much